Hey guys, Balkan Arctic here and I've got a fun one for you today. So I'm going to be talking about rebar in Revit, how to add structural strength with some steel elements inside of your concrete. But before I get started, I would just like to ask you to like this tutorial, it helps me out a lot and if you haven't already, I suggest you subscribe because I make videos like this every day. Okay, so let's get started. I'm going to be using the structural template for this one because we're doing structural elements, of course. And the first thing I like to do, just set the units and I'm going to set them to centimeters. I think centimeters are the right units for this type of a project. And now let's go into level one. And here in the structural plans, you can see you have level one and level one analytical. You can just use level one and level two for this project. Now let's just type in CL for column. And I'm going to choose one of the, these concrete columns and let's just place one over here and one over here like so. Select both of them, just make sure they go from level one with zero offset to, oops, to level two. Okay, let's now delete this offset, apply, okay. So we have our two columns over here. Now let's go to level two and place a beam going across. So I'm just going to choose a 300 millimeter beam for this and make sure to go from center to center. And there you go. Now if I just go in 3D, this is what we get. So we have two columns and a beam running through between them. So this is just perfect for showing you how to add rebar in this here beam. So I'm just going to go to level one or you can go to level two, it doesn't matter, and create just one section over here and open it up so we can have a section for our beam. And let's just change this to one to five to 50 or maybe even 25. Yeah, just to see this a bit better, this beam. Okay, so now we want to add some rebar to this beam. So what do we do? We need to go to the structure tab over here and here you have some reinforcements on this here panel. So we have rebar, area, pad, fabric area, fabric sheet, cover and rebar coupler. So for this tutorial, I'm just going to be showing you how to add just general rebar or basic rebar and how to set the cover. Now the cover is most important over here and what cover basically is, it's an imaginary offset line from this here edge of your beam. So it kind of appears over here inside and if I just select rebar cover you can probably see it. it's this thin green line over here. And the point of this line is this is just basically an, an imaginary line and within this line inside you can place all of your rebar and you can't place any rebar outside of this. And there are three reasons for this. You need some protection from the elements and from nature. So basically your rebar can rust and there can be corrosion if it's exposed to water and depending on the type of concrete you're using you need to have some decent amount of offset between your rebar and the outside of your concrete. So that's the first reason. The second reason is thermal insulation. In case of a fire you don't really want your rebar to start melting and then your whole building would collapse. So you need to have some sufficient thermal thermal insulation. And the third reason is to prevent slipping. So you need to have sufficient amount of concrete around your rebar to prevent slip when when it's under stress. So if your rebar was here on the edge that really wouldn't make sense. It would slip under tension. So for these three reasons we need some cover. And this depends on the, the size of the cover depends on basically first which country are you in. Every country has different regulation. And the second thing is where your concrete element is going to be. So if I go over here, you can see we have this edit by picking elements. And the, if I pick elements, we select this whole beam. And if I go here to change, you can see we have something like cast against earth, exterior, and here we have some dimensions. So if I choose this 75 millimeter, and you can see now this offset is quite large, it's 75 millimeters. And if I select the beam again and change it to, let's say 20, you can see now this is on the outside and it's a lot smaller, this offset. So basically when you select this pick elements, and when you choose one of these, let's place them at 40, that basically makes it 
on each side equal. But if I go here to pick faces and let's say I pick this bottom face and place this at 20 millimeters, you can see now it's offset here just by 20 and up here I can place it at 75. So you can see it doesn't have to be proportional all around. You can change it face by face. And let's just use this one to select all of them. So cover select the whole beam and let's set it to let's say 40 and if you don't like these numbers or they don't correspond to the numbers that are in your country you can just type this this edit cover settings and here you can change all of these parameters and you can just go in here and change the number or you can even add more parameters for your country's regulations okay with that out of the way now when we select this beam and we go here into our properties panel and we scroll down a bit you can see here under structure tab we have this rebar cover top face bottom face and other faces okay so what this basically means it allows you to change here in the properties panel all of these dimensions one by one so you don't have to go in the, the rebar cover tool you can actually just go here and change it to maybe 75 millimeters for top face and now if I go cover and you can see here it changed so that's just another way to change it but let me get it back to 40 yeah this looks fine okay now it's time to add some rebar once we have our rebar cover set so you go here to the rebar tool and you open it up you just hit OK and as you can see you get this menu over here where you can pick out your rebar by shape and if you know it by name you can just scroll it down over here but it's easier to find it here by shape and if for some reason you don't have this menu open up over here so maybe it's closed you can just go here and hit these three dots and it launches the whole menu again and before you start placing any rebar just go here and make sure that this detail level is set to fine because it will make everything a lot easier so let's just select one of these let's go with this one make sure that you're on current work plane so that's basically the section work plane and parallel to work plane so we're kind of placing this parallel to our view okay so let's place one of these over here and now if I just select it you can see we can kind of have a setup over here or we can go into 3d maybe to see that a bit better so we have our rebar over here and here we have only six single and that basically means it has placed it just in the plane where the section is but if we go to maybe maximum spacing and set this to 150 millimeters now it basically um, placed it at a maximum of 150 millimeters so it kind of created an array of these and that's very good okay so let's go back into our section so let's go section section one okay here we are so let's go rebar again and let's place some rebar running lengthwise and I'm going to show you two ways of placing that so let's go here to just let's take one of these for example and you don't want it to be parallel to work plane this one you want it to be parallel to your cover so let me go in like this and let's just place one over here like so now I need to go just into 3d to see what this looks like and as you can see it's kinda over here and that's not what we want so I'm just going to go to south elevation and here you can see the rebar cover that's good now let's just go here to fine and let's go to wireframe to see it okay now when we can see it we can select I can select this dot over here and extend this whole thing all the way outside over here kinda like that and let's change this to 50 just to make everything a bit more thinner maybe even 25 yeah this looks a lot better now you can use these sliders over here maybe to pull this in a bit and pull this out over here like that maybe a bit more over here and there you go now you've got your rebar and now we can select it go into the section and just copy it to the other side 
Now, the thing when placing rebar like this, now if we were to change the rebar cover, this rebar would change, this here, the circular one, but these that are running lengthwise wouldn't change their position because they were placed kind of randomly inside. But there's another way to place rebar, so I'm just going to go rebar, choose this one, and then if I go here to place it, I'm going to go parallel to cover and let's just place it like so. And then let's edit it and let's go from single to fixed number and let's go with three. And now as you can see over here we can kind of place our rebar or we can delete it and then go again rebar make sure that go from single to fixed number let's try four for example okay and now as you can see we can come over here and place four of these up here in the corner or on the top and now let's try changing the rebar cover so let's go here into rebar cover settings select the whole thing and let's change it to let's say 20 millimeter as you can see these kind of followed the line and the, these two didn't they kind of stayed in place so that's just something to keep in mind when placing rebar if you make sure you place multiple of them then Revit will calculate their positioning even if you change the rebar cover so let's just return to the one we had already and we can delete these two and perhaps place four more of these over here let's just change this from single to fixed number let's try four yeah let's place them like that okay one more thing this here bend over here that you can see that's the minimum bend you can see in this type of rebar but if we select it and change it maybe to 10 you can see now this bend changed because this is smaller but if we go here into edit type you can actually change this diameter so you have this stirrup tie bend diameter and if I change this to let's say 80 millimeters and go apply you can see this th whole thing changed and the diameter is now bigger and now we, we can bring it back to 40 so you can even play around with that if that's something that you need to change and let's go into 3d for a second and here we can see our rebar but because everything is black it kinda looks you can't really figure out what is what and let's change that so I'm just going to go to visibility graphics scroll down a bit till I find structural rebar and change these lines and let's do an override let's do solid lines with I don't know some blue color and for this let's try three apply okay and now you can see we have blue rebar and let's select just one of these circular rebars and let's go override graphics in view by element and let's change their color just to just to make everything a bit more interesting solid weight 3 apply ok and as you can see now we have these that are kinda red and these are blue so you can distinguish the rebar ok so that's pretty much it for, it for this video thank you for watching please subscribe like and share this video and if you have any questions comments or suggestions leave them in the comment section below Thank you for watching and have a nice day.